going on, everybody? Hope all is well. Listen, you know, I'm always putting out Bible War, always putting out some inspirational stuff. But today, I wanted to take the opportunity to do something. I know it's been so much buzz going on about me and mine. But you know what? You have to make the devil into a liar. And so today goes to all of you mothers, women, ladies that take care of children. And that's this. The Bible says a lot of things about women, about women that, that love their husbands, love their families, take care of their children, um, are adorned in beauty and all of those things. And one thing I can say is this, I love my mother. One thing I can say about this, and that is my mother has always, has and still is, talk to her every day. If not every day, every other day. I'm grateful that my mother is alive. And in whatever situations may befall us at this present time, I still serve a God that can and will do anything but fail. Don't, Y'all don't, don't be concerned about what people got to say. Don't be concerned about what people putting out or anything like that. You just remember this right here. You serve a God that can do anything but fail. Listen, I want you all to take the opportunity to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. Uh, make sure you also subscribe to this channel. We're doing good things and God is great still. One thing I've learned, I put my I put my good shirt on. Thou shalt not try me. Let me tell you something. A lot of people want you to see the negative things, but you got to stay focused on the positive. Stay focused on the positive. Ladies, remember this, that there is always a verse for you in the scriptures to keep you in to keep you lifted up and to keep a smile on your face. Here's one thing, and I say this to you ladies, dear mama. Proverbs 31 and 10 says this through 12. Who could ever find a wife like this one? She is a woman of strength and of mighty valor. She is full of wealth and wisdom. The price paid for her was greater than many jewels. Her husband has interests, has entrusted his heart to her for she brings him the rich spoils of victory. All throughout her life, she brings him what is good and what is not evil. Now, First Peter also says this, you should clothe yourself instead with the beauty that comes from within, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is so precious to God. It's not telling y'all to be quiet, but get what I'm saying. Um, 1 Samuel 1, 26 through 28. Please, my Lord, she said, as sure as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood here beside you praying to the Lord. I prayed for this boy. And since the Lord gave me what I asked for, asked him for, I now give the boy to the Lord for as long as he lives, he is given to the Lord. Then he bowed in worship to the, to the Lord there. Are oh, we coming to a good scripture? 2 Timothy 1 and 5 says this. I remember your genuine faith. For you share the faith that first filled your grandmother. Oh, that blesses me right there. I remember your genuine faith. For you share the faith that first filled your grandmother, Lois, and your mother, Eunice. And I know that same faith continues strong in you. Paul talking to Timothy. Now, this is my blessed scripture right here. This is my blessed scripture right here. And for everybody that, that's listening, hear this. It's dropped in my spirit. Proverbs 31 and 25 says this. She is clothed in strength. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. So when things look bad, seem like there's no way, no hope, remember this. 
She shall laugh. She can laugh at the days to come. You think I'm concerned? I was just going through some pictures of my mom and my cousin, my mother and my grandma, my mom. And one thing I can say about my mother is that she raised some good boys. They may not act all the way, you know, my little brothers, but she raised some good boys. We, we may fight amongst each other, but if you come for one of us, you came for the whole lion's den, period. See, I know my, my lion's head is covered up right now. Baby, I'm Lion of Judah. <laughs> I'm the head. And my mama's queen. My father's a king. And regardless of what may come or go, family is family. And I want y'all to understand that. Your family is your family. A lot of times people don't like what's going on in their lives. So they spew off on you what they hate in themselves. But I tell you this today, if you have a good mother, love on her, cherish her, cause some people don't got theirs. And as long as I live, I will cherish my mother, I will honor her, and I will lift her up because she gonna laugh in the days to come. She's gonna laugh in the days to come. I just sit here and look at my little nieces. Look at my little nieces. God is blessed. Look at my grandmother. God is blessed. When you got good, when you come from good stock, see everybody hasn't done everything perfect, but when you come from good stock, y'all recognize y'all mistakes. And we still grow in grace. We grow in love. So dear mama, you are going to be able to laugh in the days to come. Maybe I'm just speaking, I, you know. Just talking. But you're gonna be able to laugh in the days to come. You know, the Bible even talked about there were two women who were arguing over a baby. They were arguing over a baby. And there was one woman who wasn't the act, who wasn't the mother, but she wanted to take the child. And then there was the actual mother who was fighting for her child's life. And she told the king, she said, let her have the baby. Because the king said, since both of y'all fight, I'm going to split the child. You take this piece of the child, you take that piece of the child. And the mother said, no, let her have the child. And the king said, in so many words, that's a real mother. A real mother is willing to give away so that he would spare the child. Now, people may take this and spin it all kind of ways. But the Bible speaks of a righteous woman. The Bible speaks of a woman who takes care of her household. Yeah, now we're not talking about husbands and wives, but we're talking about a woman that will take care of her household. See, here's the thing about real mothers, good mothers. See, because everybody ain't rich and everybody ain't poor. But a good mother will make sure that their children, sons, and daughters have no matter what. Because if you sow in your children the right way, the Bible says, and when you are old, they shall call you blessed. When you are old, they shall call you blessed. When you are old, they shall call you blessed. Now, 
there's there you know i always have a song in my head the law of the lord is perfect the law of the lord is kind the law of the lord is good so that brings me to first corinthians 13 4 through 7. love is patient love is kind love doesn't envy it is not boastful, it is not conceited, does not act inappropriately, it is not selfish, is not provoked, and does not keep a court, and does not keep a record of wrongs. Love finds no joy in unrighteousness, but rejoices in truth. It bears all things. Believes all things, hopes all things, endure all things. And Isaiah 66 and 13 says, As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you, and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. Isaiah 49 and 15 says, Can a woman forget her nursing child? and have no compassion on the son of her womb. Even these may forget, but I will not forget you. First Corinthians 13 and 13 says, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. I'm grateful for love. I'm grateful for hope. I'm grateful for faith. But out of all of these, I'm so grateful for love. So grateful for love. Mother's Day is in a couple of, of months. Mother's Day is in a couple of months. And now the day goes by that I'm not appreciative for my mother. I don't thank God for my mother. And when I see her again, she's still gonna be called queen. She's still gonna be my mom do. She's still, she's still my queen. When I think about the sacrifices as a little child that my mom had to make for all three of us, working and putting food on the table. Now that she's older and we're older, she is going to, she's called blessed. This is why it's important. Men, young women. This is why it's important, young kings and queens, for you to obey God and walk in your destiny because you have a charge to keep. And that is now that your mother and father have taken care and pushed you out the nest, when they get old, it's time for you to give back to them and be a blessing to them. Everything is about give and take. They gave to you. Now it's time for you to give to them. I'm grateful for my, I can't tell you enough. I'm grateful for mine. I bless God for mine. And I pray that God does everything. And I don't even rush him. Because when he does something, he does it well. And just like the scripture says, she's going to laugh in the days to come. She's going to laugh in the days to come. And that's what I rejoice about. Listen, y'all, thank y'all so much. Thank you so much for being a part of this devotional and uh, just going through the word with me. Uh, if you guys want to be a blessing, y'all just hit that cash app. Apparently, they won't let me keep a Patreon. Ha! Just hit that cash up. Show some love. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your partnering with me. Thank you for your love and your support. God bless you all. And I want you all to have a marvelous, marvelous week and a wonderful weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye. It's my prayer that whatever it is that you are trying to get off the ground, God will give you the funding for.
I really thought you would shout better than that. The only people who are shouting right now are those who got a big idea but don't have a big budget. But in spite of not having big budget, here's your shout, you got big faith. You have to dream the size of your faith and not think about the number of your limitations. <laughs>